let's say that my team wants to see opportunities for a particular account grouped by stage. They want to see this report for multiple accounts. Instead of creating this report over and over again, filtered by a different account name, what you could do is create a button on the account record page and when they click this button, it will take them to the report that they want to see filtered by this account. To create this button, you first need to create the report that the button will be referencing. So click the reports tab and create a new report. For this example, I have already created a report that I want to use for this purpose. As you can see, this is an opportunity report grouped by stage. If you want to learn how to create reports with groupings, click the card above for another video that I created on this topic. So now that I have the report and I like the way that it looks, I want to make sure that it has a filter for the account ID because as you can see, it is currently showing all accounts in my system. So I will go to the filters tab, add a filter for account ID, and here is where I will set it equal to nothing. So I will leave the value blank and press apply. You will notice that the data disappears from the report. This is expected because we are taking away the account ID information, so it doesn't know what to filter by. Now you will save and run this report. The results are expected again since the account ID has not been passed into this report yet. This is where we will use the power of dynamic URLs to send in the account ID from the button that we will create. So now we will create a new button on the account page. To do this, we want to go to Setup, Object Manager, and go to the Account Object, and go to Buttons, Links, and Actions. I am going to create a new button and call it Opportunities by Stage. I will then make sure that this is a detail page button. You want to make sure that the content source is a URL. And then add the URL that you will be passing in. In order to do this, go to your reports, copy the URL from the report that you just created, and paste it into the field. You can delete everything after the question mark because that is where we will be adding our account ID filter. Now type FV0 equals, and this is where we will pass in our first filter, which is the account ID. So select insert merge field and select account ID. If you have multiple filters, which is possible, you can you can add an ampersand, FV1 equals, and then insert your next filter ID. However, in our case, since we only have one filter, we will remove this second variable and press save. This will give you a warning that in order to see this custom button, you need to add it to the page layout. So press OK. <clears throat> And then let's add this to our page layout. Press page layouts on the left. Select the page layout you want to update. Select mobile and lightning actions. Scroll down to your Salesforce lightning and mobile actions. And insert the new button into that section. And press save. Now, when you are reviewing an account object, you should be able to see the new button that we created called Opportunities by Stage. When you click this button, the report that we created for Opportunities by Stage should appear and it should be filtered by the account that we were just on. Some things to keep in mind if you are in classic mode, 
in the button definition, instead of using the lightning URL, you want to use the classic URL. And instead of using fv0 equals and then the parameter, you want to say pv0 equals and then the parameter. If you have any additional questions on this topic, please leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you. And if you found this video helpful, please give me a like, share it with a colleague or a friend. We upload a new video on the topic of Salesforce tips and tutorials every week, so consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video.